How are we doing everybody? Thanks for joining me again. I've come north of the border this time to the beautiful Scotland in the Glencoe Valley. And my plan is to uh, take some pictures of this tonight and first thing in the morning. Stop Joe out. What a beautiful mountain. Amazing. I don't know if you can see on the camera there, but there's still snow over towards where the three sisters are in the background. There's snow on those Monroes at the back there. How amazing is it to be in Scotland? Absolutely brilliant. You can hear me okay, it's a bit blowy. But I've come off paste. It's just gonna be a bit scrambling. Which is gonna be interesting with the uh, with my pack on the back. Well, I'm not far from the top now. I carried three litres of water up here. So I was unsure if there's gonna be any water source up here. And it's always best to carry it with you. And um, I've come across this, which is great. Could even be a potential site for the Acto as well. I mean, uh, I'm out of the wind as well. So I'm gonna have a, a scout around and see if this is gonna be my uh, pitch for tonight or somewhere else. Right, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my uh, campsite overlooking um, Glencay, which I think is absolutely superb. So there's the view from outside the uh, Actae. That's what I'm going to be waking up to tomorrow morning. Morning everybody, um, it's just gone half past four, so I'm having my uh, 
cup of tea. Getting ready for sunrise, which is at quarter to five this morning. I was nice and toasty here last night. I used earplugs as well because it was a little bit windy and they made a massive difference. So, top tip there earplugs. Um, if you are a light sleeper like I am, they made, they made a big difference. So, hopefully, I might get some shots. I don't know if you can see in the distance there, we just got the, uh, the moon starting to come down um, in the distance. But there's loads of low, low cloud at the minute, so. I'm not holding my breath for a sunrise, but we'll see, we'll see what happens.